Oh dear God. I don't know if I'm missing something or if other people have watched a different program or something because I've seen a, a couple of YouTubers at least saying that uh, Sony did a great job with their most recent state of play. And let's be honest, they really needed to do a decent job with this most recent state of play given the uh, shit show that was the last one because let's be honest, the last one was a complete mess and it didn't really offer us anything worth watching. And it certainly didn't give us any real news that was worth hearing. And with them not coming to E3 this year, I had high hopes for this state of play. I thought, you know, they're going to give us something. They're going to surprise us. It's going to be great. And it wasn't. And as I say, some YouTubers are saying that they delivered a lot. But as far as I'm concerned, it was 13 minutes of nothing. Literally nothing. Oh, well, not quite literally nothing, but getting close to literally nothing. They started with Monster Hunter World and the DLC that's coming out this year in uh, September, I believe. And that's uh, called Iceborne. And it looks fine, but it's not exclusive to Sony. It'll be coming on the Xbox and, you know, other platforms, presumably. But it, it didn't really light any fires for me, maybe because it was set in snow. But hey, you know, <laughs> I like snowy climbs and uh, I like snowing games. And I, I think that it looks perfectly reasonable, perfectly good. But it was nothing to use in a in a special announcement video. They should have given us something like, I don't know, something on The Last of Us or something like that. Having a DLC pack as your opener, it kind of sets the scene, doesn't it? Because here's some DLC. Yay! It's brilliant. And as I say, it's probably going to be fine. But it's nothing to write home about, is it? It's DLC. And even if it's a large amount of DLC, great, fine, wonderful. Those people who like Monster Hunter World, very happy, all the rest of it. But come on, really? The next thing we got was uh, something called River Bond. And sorry, River Bound. I don't know, River Bond, River Bound didn't really interest in me that much. It looked nice enough. It's a dungeon crawler. But again, it's not an exclusive. It's coming to other platforms. It's coming to the Xbox. It's coming to PC. So why have it in a state of play? What was so exciting about this? Then we got Predator Hunting Grounds. And I was getting really excited when I heard the Predator music. Oh, great, Predator. And I, I'd already heard some rumours that, you know, we were seeing a Predator game coming to the PlayStation. And this one is an exclusive. And it's been uh, developed by Ilphonic and Fox. But then we got a little bit of detail and <sighs> it's online only. So, you know, OK, Sony want to push this. They they want to show their new Predator game. And, and you know, it's a big franchise. But let's be honest, most of us, certainly I, would want a story-based Predator game where you can play as the Predator or maybe you could play as the Marines being hunted by the Predator or both. You know, we've had this before with Aliens vs. Predator. We've had the, the you know, the game where, where you could play as the Marines, you could play as the Predator, you could play as the Alien. So why not give us something like that and set it in the jungle of the original Predator movie, which is what they've done, but give us a story. So that didn't excite me at all, or it started to, and then I they lost me. And then we got Medieval Remake, which is out on October 25th, and that is an exclusive, so yay, Sony. Brilliant. And then something else called Away, uh, the survival series, uh, where you have to survive natural disasters. And that, you know, that looks okay. Could be good. Who knows? And that's kind of a PS4 exclusive, depending on how you look at it, because it's coming to PC as well, but it's not coming to the Xbox as far as I can tell. So, yeah, right, brilliant, great. And then they announced a limited edition PlayStation 4 Days of Play. <sighs> Sorry, that one put me to sleep. Uh, it's not even a, a PlayStation 4 Pro, it's a standard PlayStation. Does anyone actually buy them anymore? I, I don't know. It's a, it's a good console, but if I was buying a, a, a PlayStation 4 now, I'd buy a Pro, let's be honest. And a limited edition, one of these, it didn't look anything special anyway. So, yeah. 
Microsoft tend to do much better special editions. Um, <laughs> but let's not get into Microsoft because uh, they dropped a bollock recently as well with their um, digital-only Xbox One S. So it seems Sony are trying to compete. At least this one's got a disk drive. So, uh, you know, <laughs> thank heavens for small mercies. And then they ended it with Final Fantasy VII Remake. And we all knew that was coming. So that's nothing amazing. I don't know. Maybe maybe some people thought it was amazing, but we didn't get any information. We didn't get any real details. And they said more information in June. Well, great. OK, so give us the information in June. OK, look, big Final Fantasy fans are probably, I don't know, hanging from the ceiling at the moment and shouting. But I'm not a huge Final Fantasy fan anyway, so it doesn't really do much for me. And what did they tell us? Nothing. Nothing at all. And that was it. That was it. And I, I just looked at it and I thought, really? Come on, Sonny. Give us a bit more than this. After the last one, I, I wanted more. And I was expecting more. And I thought, oh, 13 minutes. When I sat, sat down to watch it, I thought, 13 minutes, they're going to pack a lot in. It's going to be, you know, really dense and it's going to be exciting and they'll knock it out of the park. And they knocked something out and that something they knocked out was me. Because by the end of it, I was almost asleep. I'll be honest. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm completely out of touch. Because as I said, some people seem to think this was fantastic. But I thought it was dull as ditch water. But anyway, that's what I think. Quick one today. Uh, let me know what you think about this in the comments. You might completely disagree. You might think this is the best thing ever. And uh, if you do, let me know why and we can discuss it, you know, because we all have different opinions on these things and we all like different games. So if there's something in here that you were really looking forward to, maybe it inspired you. But it didn't me, as I say. But anyway, that's me done. I'm going to go and grab a cup of tea and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Oh dear, Sonny. Oh dear. <laughs>